What is going on, guys? It's Rod from Heroes Avenue. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend so far. So today, we are going to talk about one topic in particular. It is an article that was put out by The Hollywood Reporter. Shout out to Asir, who uh, commented in one of our videos, uh, and he wanted, wanted me to talk about it, or wanted uh, us at Heroes Avenue to talk about it. And it is a subject that might get your blood boiling, because it definitely got me hot for a quick second. So um, let's just get right into it. So Toby Emmerich on Warner Brothers. Crazy rich year. We all feel we've turned a corner now. So um, ahead of the Producers Guild of America award. Uh, so Toby Emmerich is set to receive some sort of award over here. So there was an interview that The Hollywood Reporter did. The Hollywood Reporter is one of these news outlets that is on the more reliable end, you know, they tend to uh, be reliable for the most part, and uh, they do ma make mistakes. Uh, for example, in the last video I did on Christopher McQuarrie, I pointed out the mistake that they made. Christopher McQuarrie corrected it on Twitter. Um, but, but for the most part, they're always pumping out reliable information. But here, this is an interview, so um, it's hard to really take these words and construe them in the wrong way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and forward, you know, fast forward uh, to the part that concerns us. So, um, while on the red carpet for this event, um, he was asked, um, what does the success of Aquaman mean for the DC universe? And then he says, we all feel like we've turned a corner now. We're playing by the DC playbook, which is very different than the Marvel playbook. We are far less focused on a shared universe. We take it one movie at a time. Each movie is its own equation and own creative entity. If you had to say one thing about us, it is is that it always has to be about the directors <sighs> okay so the part obviously that that's really frustrating to me is the part about we are less focused on a shared universe that was the whole promise of batman versus superman that we were going to get a shared universe and obviously money talks guys so aquaman making this amount of money is going to make them think about the direction they're heading in um you know aquaman is obviously a character that no one thought no one would have predicted that would make a billion dollars no i thought it was going to be successful never in the in in a million years what i thought it would make a million dollars for the character that he is and if you look at the upcoming movies from the wb slate i talked about how they're uh currently making or developing that supergirl movie they're developing a Blue Beetle movie, they're developing uh, Birds of Prey starting to film, and there's rumors that there is going to be a Birds of Prey versus Gotham City Sirens movie in the future, or a Harley Quinn trilogy. Oh my gosh, they are, they're pumping out all these, or uh, they're, they're getting out uh, all these projects in development that no one is really asking for. All of us want a Batman. I mean, obviously that's going to get started soon, but all of us want a Superman, and, you know, we want to see The Flash obviously come out, and, uh, so new rumors now are that um, that uh, in a poll taken after Justice League, um, Superman and Batman were, I guess, the audiences found them the least intriguing characters. And Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and um, The Flash were, were the characters that people were most gravitated towards So during Justice League, which is why um, we're getting a Wonder Woman sequel, why Aquaman came out first and things like that. So that, that was the last I heard on it. But uh, going back to this subject, uh, we, we were promised a shared universe. Now they may have bungled it, you know? He says that they are always about the directors. Then why did you screw over Zack Snyder the way you did? Why didn't you just let him complete his vision? You know, you guys put out this crazy, this crazy uh, excuse, you know, utilizing and capitalizing on the death and suicide of his daughter to uh, to kind of hide the fact that you you guys kicked him off the project. It's crazy to me. I know this is kind of a ranting video right now because um, I'm about to step out. I uh, got some errands to run, but I wanted to put out this video or film this because uh, it's it's something that no one's talking about so far, as far as I've seen. Um, so if you guys didn't know, Toby Emmerich uh, is a chairman of Warner, Warner Brothers uh, Pictures Group, and he he was uh, you know he he he's been having a good year so far, or he's been having a good recent years so far um you know wonder woman dunkirk uh all movies that uh that that really helped uh boost uh, his resume i guess um crazy rich asians has done incredibly well this year a star is born doing incredibly well 
and uh, Aquaman to cap it off as well. But, um, you know, he talked about other things in this interview, but this is the main thing I'm talking about. The fact that they are moving away from a shared universe, really. Now, you know what? He's saying this right here on the red carpet, kind of on the spot. So who knows if this is this is concrete. You know, maybe maybe they're moving away from a shared universe or uh, being so strict uh, uh, with their universe. You know, everything has to connect. You know, Aquaman was obviously it connected to the universe, but it didn't it didn't force feed us like uh, any cameos uh, or anything like that. You know, we had the Wonder Woman newspaper clip at the end, the reference to Justice League uh, with Mara Steppenwolf comment. Um, so maybe that's what he's talking about. Maybe he's talking about having a universe that kind of ties in or that that ties in, but it doesn't it doesn't really reference other projects uh, so uh, so blatantly. Um, so maybe that's what he's talking about. And I could get down with that, uh, but I, I don't want to hear the, I don't want to hear them saying that they're going to be moving away from from uh, tying these tying these mov movies together in the long run because I want to see a Justice League 2. It's like you got all these characters, you brought them together, you messed it up the first time. You guys got to correct that now because there's such a big fan base uh that that's dying to see this done right and you know, this is just, you know, this is this is just me ranting. Uh got me a little upset reading this uh off the top of my head so i guess i'm gonna throw this at you guys what do you think about his comments here are you are you uh are you guys does this make your blood boil is this something that is really irritating you or are you taking it you know are you kind of taking it in stride and kind of you're gonna watch it play out because at the at, you know on the other end of things he may just be saying this right now and not have concrete plans for what's coming next you know maybe they're gonna see how shazam does uh, maybe they're going to see how Wonder Woman does and then go from there because we do know Walter Hamada kind of just recently took over the reins. And, you know, I think, you know, he's they still need to meet and discuss about what's happening in the future and what the plan is going forward. Aquaman definitely a step in the right direction for uh, the studio. So, um, yeah, I, I guess uh, the question is on you guys. Now, what, what does this news make you feel? How do you feel about the comments that he made here? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, uh, Shout out to Asir again for pointing this, this uh, story out to me. Um, like this video if you can, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're definitely going to talk more about this subject, and I'll definitely gather my thoughts in a little more of a coherent manner for the next video. Uh, all right, guys. I will catch you guys later. Peace.